What's good YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I got a special trip to the thrift for you guys. I ended up coming across a bunch of Kobe samples in my Goodwill. Now this is absolutely crazy for me. I never found this many like brand new shoes in the box in a Goodwill but I think I just ended up being there at the right place at the right time. That's another reason why I go to these Goodwills and these different thrift stores on a daily basis because you never know what you're going to find and this was just a really really crazy find. I don't got a ton of footage but I will share the, the, the brief pieces of footage that I do have with you guys and then I'll break it down right after that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright y'all, so as soon as I got to the Goodwill, I checked the case where they usually put more of the uh, more expensive stuff there and as you guys can see they had some Converse's and some other Kobe shoes in there as well. They even had a pair of golf shoes too. But just checking out these Kobe's, I never seen these before and it was pretty obvious why I was never able to uh, see these because these were actually a promo sample. So this colorway was, well, I'm guessing, just an exclusive colorway and just checking out the overall condition. These were clearly brand new, never worn and the box was still um, there as well. So I was immediately interested in grabbing of that pair. Then I checked out these and then I also seen that these also had the promo sample tag on the inside and these were also brand new. Um, with the original box so off the rip I was definitely going to be grabbing up those two shoes I'm um, still wanting to check out all of them but I made sure that every shoe that I had had that promo sample tag in it just to be just to be sure but overall all of these were indeed promo samples and after talking with the goodwill manager he did let me know that they just put these out on the floor so um, I basically just walked in at the perfect time Alright y'all, so as you guys can see, your boy is back in the crib and I grabbed all of those Kobe samples that was in the Goodwill. Some were in boxes, some weren't, but these were all just, um, you know, like I said, right place, right time. I paid about 30 bucks a piece for these shoes. Um, the crazy thing is, like I said, they're all brand new in the box. Um, those of you that know about, like, Kobe sneakers, he goes by the, the Black Mamba. So it's like a snake print on the inside and I'll show you guys all the shoes. I took a, I took one pair of each out just to show you guys. But um, overall, this was definitely one of the best trip to the thrifts. I think I, I was able to finish the year off in a bang. If I find anything better than this by the end of the year, that would be crazy. But just to show you guys really quickly, um, like I said, I paid about 30 bucks for all of these. This one was also brand new in the box. Um, they're all size 13 and a half. So they're all coming from the same exact person. And I was told from the one of the Goodwill employees that it was actually Kyle Corver that dropped off these shoes to Goodwill. He They, they said he drops uh, stuff off like this maybe once or twice a month. And this was really just crazy that I was able to pick them up. Like I said, I just got there at the perfect time. And as you guys can see from the footage earlier on, these are all promo samples, uh, all size 13 and a half. Uh, if I had to guess, this would probably be my uh, favorite colorway. I think it's more like a Michigan colorway. Um, I was trying to find comps on eBay as well. Couldn't really find any comps, uh, anything comparable. These, these are actually the Kobe AD2s. And some that I've seen listed, I've seen the one person list a pair and they put uh, Andre Iguodala's name on there for like, I think five or six hundred bucks, something crazy like that. It didn't sell for that price, but that's how much they had it listed for. And this pair isn't actually a sample. This is just one, uh, just one random shoe that they did have. And I do have the original box for that as well. So that's definitely going to help out with the price point. Uh, size 13 and a half is kind of tough to sell. So I'm probably going to be sitting on these for a while. But since they are promo samples, I'm definitely going to be shooting uh, somewhere between, I'm guessing maybe two, three hundred bucks a pair. Drop a comment if you if you guys think that's too high, too low. I know it's definitely going to be a tough sale, like I said, size thirteen and a half. But because they are samples, I'm definitely going to uh, just price them high and wait for the right buyer to come along. Probably end up selling them about maybe two hundred bucks a piece. Who knows? But definitely something I was willing to take that risk on. But anyway, like I said, this pair I've seen several uh, comps on eBay. This one was selling anywhere between about uh, ninety to about. 120 brand new with box so that's probably what I'll shoot for as well and the rest of these like I said anywhere between two and three hundred bucks um, I have about three pairs of this colorway I believe I have two of this colorway and I have three of these and I think the rest are just um, singles not exactly sure but I do have a lot of doubles and triples in some of these only one of this one but they're all size 13 and a half 
Alright y'all, that's all I got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment if you guys would have done the same thing. Like I said, I paid about $30 a piece for all these shoes. So I definitely dropped a decent investment in these, but I do think I'll be able to make my money back. And once I sell maybe two or three shoes, I'll be able to make my money back. Who knows how long that'll actually take, but at the end of the day, that's just one of the risks that we all take as resellers. Sometimes you might win some, sometimes you might just break even. But for me, I definitely think it's actually worth the risk and worth the weight. So drop a comment if you guys uh, found anything crazy similar to this. If you found like some rare samples in the past or if you found uh, even these same colorways, let me know if these are actually like uh, less limited than I think it is and they're probably just out there. So drop a comment if you guys are familiar with it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm tight and now I'm off this shit You should wanna be a real one